Brian again from Insult to Injury. Lovely spring day out here today, Chris. What we've decided to do is try to get a few boys together and go on a little, one of my favorite spring events that this is, the annual uh, four-wheeling run, okay? A little trail ride today. That's right. Uh, well, let's take a look at the machine that we're going to be using today, Brian. Uh, what we're going to be using is probably one of the more popular four-wheel machines around the area. Uh, high cost of maintaining one of these things for sure. Uh, one of the more active four-wheel machines uh, in the business, in the game today. And, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of money on it. and It's got a lot of uh, high-performance equipment. But uh, maybe we can just take a quick quick peek. And I'd like to say if there's any MTO officials out there, they can shut off the set right now, please. These stoppers, actually, just so you can go like this and throw it open. You have no problem. So as we look around at the high-performance engine compartment, you'll notice it's also a good place to store my various oils, gear lube, dura lube, WD-40 over there. They are flammable, but uh, I found it safe so far. Well, let's start with the air cleaner, I guess. The air cleaner, yeah, I got another pair like them at home. Bungee cord on the hair, that's that's safety first to hold the battery. And you don't want that bouncing around while you're four-wheeling. That bust open, you could have a lot of... Uh, acids and whatnot on yourself that would hurt you'll see you're in the lap of luxury when you are out four-wheeling these days not like those old jeeps you know where uh they were pretty rustic inside here you're sitting in the lap of luxury it's hard to even imagine you're in a four-wheel drive vehicle okay uh, maybe we can start by uh showing us how you fire this baby up is it a really complicated problem it's a bit of a process i used to have a uh, push button toggle switch to fire it up but uh some of the wires broke off so now i simply turn the key forward all the way as far as it will go give her a bit of gas and I locate my two starter wires right here and make sure we're out of gear safety first ladies and gentlemen touch them together and away we go we're off now to do some serious four-wheeling but wait a minute this is a live wire so you want to cover that up with something non-metal in case it touches the frame that ought to do the trick right there As you can see, we were able to make uh, some pretty good uh, runs there today, and uh, we'd just like to say that for all those people that uh, maybe didn't think the samurai could do it, we can do it. Didn't and, have it uh, in it, a lot of people thought. Exactly, and maybe for all those people that uh, think that they can do better. Maybe we should issue the challenge right here. Uh, come one, come all, bring your monster trucks, bring your full-size Chevys and Fords and Dodges. We'll issue the challenge right now. You can get your truck on, on insult to injury if you come up and uh, you think maybe you can go through a bit more of a mud pit than we can. That's the challenge is on. Mm -hmm. It's you guys against the samurai. See if you can do it. Uh, give us a call and come on out. 